Hi, good evening. How are you? Or good morning or good afternoon, whenever you're watching this. I'm Diane Martino from Art and Soul, Creative Healing and Creative Whales. Whales are for wellness, health, healing, happiness, art, ascension, love, love is good, life, living, E is for your energy, your enthusiasm about life, and S is for soul, spirit, and sovereign human beings. So tonight, I keep saying tonight, or whenever you're watching this, I want to talk about chakra color consciousness. And I've been talking about it for a while, and I want to share with you today what it actually is. It's a process I've created over the past few years about how our chakras are connected to the uh, movement or the organ or the dysfunction in our body. So what do I mean by that? The chakras are helping us heal. So say, um, okay, we'll use this example tonight. Say somebody in your life has just passed away. And your heart is broken. And um, you're having upper back pain. That could be a cause of your upper back pain. You're having trouble breathing because lungs are for breathing. Um, and uh, your chest hurts. You feel very sunken in. Um, people who are depressed kind of hunch over. So my ideal as using chakra color consciousness to heal would be to have you do certain breathing practices so that's the breathing have you do an asana i'd have you use the abcs of healing that i created to heal counteract uh, work with the area of the body that is feeling in dysfunction so we might do some cobra poses. We might do some hands to shoulder and breathing this way and have our focal point on the chest region and the upper back region. Because once we strengthen our upper back, it helps to open the chest region. So there's all kinds of um, different examples that I could use. That seems to be the simplest one. Um, I work privately with people. So I don't do them uh, generally on the internet or the um, through Zoom or things like that. I want to work with people in person when I can. I might be able to help you somewhat, but I find working with an individual person to person, feeling the energy is one of the most beneficial things that we can do. So spirit came to me uh, a couple of years ago while we were in a uh, very confined position on this planet after certain people didn't want us out and about and they told us about this thing that was just so devastating but um i believe it was just the flu and the common cold and um a detox and i believe it was lots of other things but I believe that our energy is stronger and we are the most magnificent manifestors on this world. And that by us manifesting the use of our body, the amazing technology that is our body, that we can heal our bodies. Um, I have not gone to a medical physician in 23 years, there are two exceptions. I had emergency surgery to have scar tissue removed in 2011. And I had, um, I had elevated blood pressure right before the shutdown. And I went to a doctor and he couldn't help me. And he got very frustrated. And I worked with my intuition and seeing what I thought was wrong. 
And it was my neck from two car accidents because none of the medications from the, um, the people were working for me. He gave me four or five different cocktails of them and nothing worked. So I was having extremely, extremely elevated blood pressure to the point where I had nosebleeds. So I intuited what it was and I wound up going to a, a structural doctor for that. And lo and behold, that was healed. I also believe it was energetic. It was in the region of my throat chakra. And I believed I wasn't expressing my, what I was supposed to be expressing. So I had to do a lot of deep inner work. So a lot of this work is you doing the, the awareness, the focusing, seeing what's going on, right? So different things like shoulder issues, lower back pain, colds, you know, colds are nothing more than a, a Herkimer response to releasing toxins in your body. So we never want to suppress them. We want the toxins to be able to come out. So there are lots of different um, things that remedies, things we can work with, with chakra color consciousness. And I find the ABCs, which I've termed the ABCs of healing, which are asana, movement. Even if you're in a chair, we have asanas for people to do. Breath. Everybody's breathing. Happy to hear that. And chakra color consciousness. I create color pieces for the chakras where you use them as meditations the color vibrates to the chakra that we are working to heal bring into balance or activate so we're trying to do different things on different people and that's why i work with individuals i do not work in um the internet the interzones they call them so, uh, yeah, so chakra color consciousness. So I'm going to put up a, a picture right now of um, a color, uh, a chakra color consciousness. Here we go. And um, what I want you to know is this is a part of a painting, a drawing painting. And sometimes I actually have the individual work with the color with the piece to also activate that part of the body. As you can see here, this is very green. This is very heart centered. And there's some blue and yellow over here. And I really believe the frequencies, the light codes, because I do love light language also is incorporated in a lot of my art, mostly all of my art, that they activate their codes that the body understands. There are codes from different dimensionalities, from the future, from our future selves, and that we understand, our body understands, that they're activating and saying, hey, remember, you can do this, you can do that. But what I was saying here was that we have a little bit of our throat chakra in our heart, and we have a little of the solar plexus in our heart. So... If we're trying to be specific about a uh, chakra awareness, we can uh, bring in a color like this. This is a lot more green, right? A lot more green. But we still, again, have the blue and the yellow. And over here are the light language. So this is a, a snippet of a much larger piece. And this is for the root chakra. So the root chakra is the color red, and I'll explain that more to people as they go into their healing session. And over here, I have some uh, fluorescent color, which I believe are higher dimensions for people to work with. And again, here's some yellow. So sometimes our willpower needs to be brought in to work with our root chakra. You know, uh, especially when people are very depressed and they can't get their shit together. 
I've been in those situations, mm -hmm. me personally. And um, you have to dig deep. You know, I mean, I do this work. <clears throat> I teach this work because I've had to do this work. So I'm not teaching you anything I haven't done. It's not like, oh, I came up with this idea. No, I've worked with it um, for a long time. I've been a yoga therapist for almost 20 years, and I've been teaching yoga, meditation, um, and reflexology, and all those kinds of things since 20, uh, 2003. I forgot there's a lot of zeros between now and then. So yeah, so that's what chakra color consciousness is. So I'm going to be talking a lot more about chakra color. Whoops, where'd I go? There we go. Talking a lot more about chakra color consciousness. But I wanted to give you an overall basis. So here's one more. And this is incorporating a lot of the colors. It's mostly yellow. The yellow pieces are very um, strong and erect. Yellow is our solar plexus. But we do have some purple, some higher energies walk, moving through it. Some blue, our throat chakra. And over here, whoops, I'm pointing where am I? Over here, we have our brow chakra. And up here, higher up, we have the brow chakra with light language coming in to activate our intuition and inner knowing. So I'm going to go through some more of these. I just finished a full series of chakra colors. And I like working on the bright colors, you know, all different colors. So I'm kind of happy I'm finally through that. And what I discovered as I went through the chakra series I just finished is that I worked on myself. I had a hard time with the yellows, which was my solar plexus, my willpower. Um, the root chakra was quite challenging. Sometimes it's challenging to put the same color next to the same color without um, and getting a, a line of demarcation or seeing the different shapes. So the challenges I went through creating them were for me, and I'm happy to share them with you. So that's a lot about the uh, chakra color consciousness. And I really wanted to share that with you all tonight because I feel it's important that we understand that we can heal our own bodies. It's really important to know that, you know? We don't need an outside source. I mean, sometimes you break a leg or something like that, but we're very, very powerful beings. And um, yeah, we can heal our own bodies. And like I said, I was only to a doctor twice in 23 years. Once was for emergency surgery, which had to be done from things that went on before I started doing this work. And the second one didn't turn out so well. And that was Spirit's way of showing me that I knew better than they did. I remember the um, the doctor I went to, he got really angry with me and he's like, just go to a cardiologist. I don't know what's wrong with you. Like who talks to somebody like that? Your doctor? Hell no. I don't want to go back to you if you're talking to me like that. <laughs> so anyway, chakra color consciousness we can work on that with the ABCs. I'm not here to give you medical advice. I am not um, condoning take getting you off any kind of medications or anything. I am just sharing my experience of what I do, what I've done. I also um, use X39. I use their performance bundles, and I'm very happy with them. I I do have an elevated energy. Um, it's regenerating my body and it's activating cells within me to create a youthfulness. So I do things that I feel are beneficial to me and I do the best I can to eat clean foods, pure water, exercise, all those good things. Exercise is real important because I've been teaching yoga for 23 years. So, um, 
Yeah. So I feel better now at 65 than I did when I was in my early 40s because I wasn't doing all these good things. So thanks for stopping by tonight. And um, if you have any questions, uh, my information is in the comments. You can PM me for a free consultation and we can see if I can be of benefit to you or if you feel connected to what I do. And I would love to speak to you. So have a great, great evening, afternoon, morning, whatever it is. And I will see you all very soon. Diane Mortiano here. Thank you. Om Shanti. Namaste. Thanks for stopping by. And thanks for waiting till the end of the video.